Greetings everybody. What you have just seen is footage from my sister's travel to Zambia and as per usual the black man and woman is uh, known as the song and dance kind of people and while some of the footage uh, that I'm seeing there is troubling it's not surprising. All the pictures I see there are the same kind of images I see in Jamaica. Children are hungry, families going without, women having 20 children in a country where they are suffering and continues to have more. And though I know that, you know, we tend to say that children are a gift from God, but when you bring those children in the world and when you're watching them suffer and you continue to hold that as truth, then I don't know what to say to you. Now, the problem is not just that African people are struggling around the world is that African people accept it and when we're talking about getting together and marching and demonstrating after things have gone wrong for so long and the puddle starts to smell then we're talking about going out there and marching that worked for the people in the past our ancestors when they were doing that they were first silent so they were going through all this pain and these struggles and this suffering, and they were quiet because they were afraid. And then when they started to talk and started to march, it was their response. That doesn't work these days, but you still see people using the method in a time when they can talk. And that is a problem. We talk too damn much. I say it. We. We talk too much. But even I, in my own private life, understand that there is a time to talk and there's a time to fight and when you find military people people with military might they would never announce their coming they would never open up their doors and showing you what is happening behind the scenes this is why you have these different places in uh, your america where, where they have special sites that are classified there are information that are classified information therefore you cannot get certain jobs in any government facility if you are not certified you can't have bad credit you, your reputation has to be on parallel you have to have a certain thing that tells them they can trust you because the information they're going to give to you must show that you're trustworthy and so you continuously see black people opening their mouth to say for example we're going to have a march at this place at this time not realizing that anytime you get permission to have these marches you have to go to the persons who you're marching against that doesn't make any sense does it now I'm not going to get emotional about any of these things because when the time come for people to respond to things that they are feeling is oppressing them or things that are discriminatory. They don't go out with a whole bunch of talking. They don't advertise their whereabouts or they're doing. This is why I am not one of those individuals who are going to go out there and march to save our people and put that in quotation. I believe in meeting of the mind so you and I can have conversation because with the mind we can have conversations about things that we are supporting or we're not supporting without even saying a word we look at each other and we understand each other that's the kind of communication i want with anybody i would never advertise my intention it doesn't make any sense because those who would want you to stay in a position where you're marginalized would not give you the power to take yourself out of that and not give you the opportunity to do that so when you have civil liberties it's not something you ask for it's something you take we spend so much time arguing with each other talking about who's right and who's wrong we look for every opportunity to sabotage our own efforts or the things that we can do to make changes 
We're relying on someone else to give us permission to live. We're relying on another person to approve, you know, what is right for us. And so people will continue to do that because they see it in your nature. They see that in black nations uh, where, where, where their, their presence is not strong, that you can't even take care of your own situation. You're always looking for a king and a queen to deserve it, um, determine your existence or to tell you what to do. So, for example, in Jamaica, if anybody feels their human rights is being violated, the first thing they say is, let's go to England and get them to sort it out for us. So you demonstrate to those who you claim are your former colonizers that you cannot live without them and that you still rely on them to determine your best situation. I just don't understand it. So I'm going to make it very clear. I am not a revolutionary fighter because I don't see who I'm going to go out there and fight for. Because if you are the type of person who think you deserve the best, you're going to fight for yourself. I believe in fighting for myself and my family. And when I think about group dynamics, it's not group, di group dynamics to go out and do something that I know the result is going to remain the same. If you keep doing the same thing and expect the same results then what can i say to you it's very simple anything you don't want to happen in your life it cannot happen in your life anything that is a consistent pattern in your life you allow for it i can't tell you what to do i can't tell you how to live your life i do believe that you know we should see our brothers and sisters in the world and those who are suffering and do what we can to help them but we must not give them the opportunity to remain in a place where they're always depending on someone else teach the people how to take care of their own needs how to meet their needs so if you're giving someone something that is going to allow them to grow for example if you're a person who's gone through suffering or hardship in life Give the person something that will allow them to change their situation and not to keep them there. And so I find a lot of people around the world that are very poor, they're content to constantly put their hand out, reach out and just have someone feed them. And if you are in that mindset, you're going to stay there. So in the beginning of this video, you know, you see this kid who obviously have some mental or whatever delays and is there singing and dancing and while that seems entertaining that is part of the problem those who don't behave like him overtly behave like that silently or privately always looking for the next opportunity to laugh or to dance or to sing that's why when people see us and treat us that way you say it's offensive it's not offensive it's a message we send out Every other group of people demonstrate that even if they have their problems within, they are forced to be reckoned with. But we constantly look to other persons to provide us with the answers. And so as much as we want to talk about China and China dominating and doing this and that, the whole world knows that China is a boss when it comes to staying quiet and just slowly moving like water through these landscapes and now they are forced to be reckoned with and the same the same can be said about other people in the world whether you want to like them or not like them the talk they talk less and do more the song and dance is what gets us in this place and the announcements and always trying to you know speak above the other person or saying you know what or find opportunity to fight about minute things it's ridiculous so as we sing and we dance and we entertain them you hear that woman laughing in the beginning she's really laughing at and not with okay and i don't blame her if people want to act the clown or use our children or our people to constantly be seen as um, forms of entertainment what do you expect the people that are poor remain poor because they choose to allow people to lay them down on the ground and walk over them like bridge. So what can I say? Am I supposed to cry about that? There are poor people in Jamaica as well. And it's unfortunate 
So when I see poor people in Africa, it makes no difference to me because Africa is a very wealthy continent. And yes, I understand the sellouts and the traitors within our communities, the things that they do, but the people still have agency. And they choose to allow those who they claim are above them, those who they elect in those positions, to continue to, to use them and abuse them. I'm not wasting my time on that. Bigger fishes to fry, things to take care of. I love you all. Take care of yourself and stop acting like you don't have power to change your circumstances because you do. And when you let people abuse you, it's all on you. Stay blessed, everyone.